Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Let's go have a word of everyone before we press on, see if they've got anything interesting to say. Commander. Shepard, you are staring. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> Alright, nothing going on there then. There's probably not much going on with the others, but let's check them out, see what's going on. I'm pretty sure Omega was DLC, so... Thanks, Glyph. What have we got? Ah. Our damage bonus will cool down. No damage. Ready for the next mission. All right. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna, there's going to be much to go on here. That's what Gareth says. Then we'll just move on. All right. <clears throat> fair dues, Garrus, fair dues. All right. Let's move on then. No one's in the mood for talking. Everyone says, hi, Shepard, but never, nobody ever says, how are you, Shepard? Maybe I wanted to talk, Garrus. Not all about you. Citadel, meet Dr. Bryson. No, I'm not going to do that one yet. My reasons for that will become clear later. Wait, have I done all the things on the Citadel that I need to do? Oh, I have. Uh, right, let's improve the frag grenade. Damage. Increase grenade capacity by two. That would be useful. Okay. Uh, heating unit stabilizers. I don't think I've found those yet. Other ones provide location. Shadow Broken Forces trapped in the Dranic system inside the Krogan DMC. Right, so we haven't done that one yet. Improved power grid. Purgatory and Citadel needs an improved power grid. Find schematics for new power grid and deliver them to them. I don't think I've got that one. Benning, need to find evidence. Assist the mechanic, yeah, I missed that one. And I can't go back to Omega, Omega now. Fuck! I, I hate missing stuff. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to sign off from playing Mass Effect until after, uh, until uh, this came out. That's you 100? Yeah, you're 100. You're done. I believe you're all done. All right. Okay, let's go meet the diplomats. Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. Yeah. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? 
Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Things have changed, uh, Tress. For a start, Rex isn't an idiot. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. I think you'll find I have a lot of friends. And they'll be there when I need them. Uh, let's take... Garrus and Liara. Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> and that's why I take Garrus and Liara on this one. 
The Bants. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable, Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <laughs> I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are wrong. God damn it, Rex. And I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Oh, look what it is. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Good stuff. Where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. But Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. 
Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. <laughs> it's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Does there really need to be that much need to be antagonistic, Rex? Told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. Bio quarantine protocol is in effect on levels one through three. Kirihi! Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. And same to you, Dr. Tassoni. Major. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. How did you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on Tachanka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. Yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our medpaid couldn't handle it. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turian support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatresses. Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. You're a good one, Kerahe. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. It appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the Genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Alright, let's get this done. Now take this elevator down and someone will... What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. I wonder who it could be.
All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Morden! Morden? Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes. Can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct a cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through... Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. I brought a Rex. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. Hey. Right. Put all research subjects into immediate lockdown. There is secure. Watch us secure. This we've got to get moving, Shepard. Log Morton Silvis 162.3 used STG ties to secure station here, gained autonomy in caring for broken test subjects. Females were obviously dying, barbaric experiments, Malin's fault, my responsibility to fix. Need to save them, no more, no more dead. Something's wrong with the elevator, it's not responding. There, try it now, Commander. Oh, that's not good. Oh, crap. Get back! Couldn't put it back myself, guys. Are you alright? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. An emergency exit. I can open it from here. Thank you. Cerberus Force is trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry! Alright, I'm coming. <laughs>
Of course there will be. Cerberus. That's Garrus. Come on. The female isn't going to last long against this sort of fire power. Shepard, server is in the vicinity. Hurry! We're on our way. No. Careful. There goes the next shadow broker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the banter these guys have. There we go. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Ah, this way. Everything, I think so. Oof. Cerberus isn't fooling around. They're capable of anything. Hey, Kerry. Hey. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. <laughs> Go, Commander. I'll cover you. Arise, squad. Your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Looks like Cerberus got some upgrades.
got them all. To the next checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't done. Always a pleasure to watch you work, Commander. <laughs> Thanks, Kira Heat. Couldn't do it without you, mate. Wait. Is there anything here I missed? Yeah, whatever. I'm on it. Morden was right. Cerberus must have been tipped off. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. Can you f <sighs> really? So that's where you were coming from. I'm headed up top. Excuse me. Here we go. There we go. Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
So did, so did the previous squad. Didn't work out well for them. Which way? Wait, this way? Ah, uh, okay. We're almost back up top. <coughs> Here we go. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. Cool. That was, that was close. You had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. you out of there <laughs> I 
can handle myself, Rex. Women. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Dick move. Yay, world shaker. Don't know what that means. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. It's the Death Star. How did they get that far? How long have I been doing this? <coughs> of your people can come later that wasn't the deal but palavin needs your reinforcements now we can't delay unless every krogan gets the cure there's no alliance mort how long will it take to finish a cure need to synthesize base antigen from female also requires healthy male krogan tissue we'll need a sample you're looking at it acceptable we'll need you to remain aboard normandy for a procedure uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust door transmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morden. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it. In private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's see how we're doing. It would be nice to get 100% galactic re re readiness, I've never had that before. Because in the original Mass Effect 3, to get 100% readiness you had to play the multiplayer as well, and I don't do multiplayer. 
I do not appreciate being forced to play multiplayer to complete a game so I only ever really got the minimum so hopefully I can get get that maxed they did say it was possible commander you said one of your ships had gone missing crashed actually I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan our ship went down on Chuchanka now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. My civilization. The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. As it should be. Your men that crashed on Tuchunka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. That's all. Of course, Commander. Alright, nothing more to discuss there. Rex! Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. <laughs> you said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time, but war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tachanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. 
Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. <laughs> <laughs> How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? I mean, it comes, that conversation goes, but if you romance Liara, that conversation goes slightly a bit differently. He likes to imply that Liara gets uh, a better quarters because she's sleeping with the commander. <laughs> Thank you. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Uh, Thessia, a sorry scientist, has uh, died in custody. I wonder. Allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said uh, Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head which they believed to be uh, ind indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told the, uh, Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top secret project for former Spectre Saren Arte. Ah, oh, so it was her, the one I let go twice. Several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated, she received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Uh, Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research centre, killing five visiting Asari military officials, along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and uh, caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are, uh, they are not seeking any more suspects in this case. Major Kirri, Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you uh, again on Sakesh. Even if the circumstances were less than ideal, it seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that the STG will be there to help when uh, when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You are there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favour. Best of luck, Major Kirihi. 
Hi Shepard, it's been a while. I'm glad uh, glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara, Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk to Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Ah, oh, cheers, Farron. Alright, let's go check in on Joker. into a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too, or the Vorcha? <coughs> Bill, <Bill's alive. coughs> the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. Commander? It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us. Transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right... Transhumans have some of their brain's ability, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. I don't remember ever having that conversation before. Right, let's go have a word of uh, everyone else. Uh, let's go chat with Morden first. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive. Almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. <coughs> ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive, also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. I was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand? But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you 
got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. <laughs> We're Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. <laughs> that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it. But I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a Thresher Maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Weirlock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. 
that she knew she would enter the void free of this curse and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> All right. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. All right, let's have a quick chat with Morden, and then we'll end this episode here. Blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin stay a thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So, the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like mail. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> you care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said... Please. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> oh, Morden, we love you, buddy. Right, we'll, we'll talk to the others in the next episode, because this has already gone over. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. 
I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.